I'm Cassidy from Cozy Peach Kitchen. Today we're making avocado pesto pasta. This is by far the most popular recipe on my blog and for good reason. It's filled with nutrition, it's really easy to make, and it's just really delicious. We'll be using avocados, just one large avocado. That makes it super creamy. And we'll also use frozen spinach. Now this is a really good and expensive way to add some nutrients to your pesto. It also adds a great green flavor. And of course, no pesto is complete without basil. So we'll use about two cups of fresh basil. Now this is not your traditional pesto. We're using cashews instead of pine nuts, but it adds a really nice, almost cheesy taste because this is a vegan pesto. So we're not adding any cheese to this. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by adding in the avocado, of course, the most important part. Squeeze it directly in there. Next up is the basil. We have about two cups of basil here. Then we'll add in that frozen spinach. Make sure to squeeze out that extra moisture. Next up is our olive oil, two tablespoons. We'll add lemon juice for some brightness. That's two tablespoons of lemon juice. Chopped garlic and salt. We'll add freshly ground black pepper to taste and nutritional yeast. And that adds a nice little cheesy flavor. Finally, we'll add in the cashews. I like to add this attachment just to make it easier to scrape down the sides. Then we'll go ahead and put the lid on, lock it tight and go. Now I'm using just classic pasta right here. You can use protein pasta so that you have a complete meal or you can add in chickpeas or another bean of choice. Even tofu would go really well here or just enjoy it on its own. It's really good that way too. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take that nice and beautiful green pesto and just toss it on the pasta. So we'll go ahead and just add the pesto on there. And this goes on about eight ounces of pasta and then we'll mix it all together. And there you have it, avocado pesto pasta. I think you'll love this recipe because it's full of nutritious ingredients and it's ready in just about 10 minutes. You can find the full recipe at the link below and don't forget to subscribe for new videos. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.